A man lives in a dangerous neighborhood, decides to go out for a walk in the middle of the night. When he does this, he opens his door up and leaves it wide open. He leaves his car with the windows down and the keys in the ignition, decides to go out for a walk. When he gets home, he finds that his car is missing that his house has been ransacked and a lot of things are missing from his home. He gets upset. He files a police report. The police asked him, did he have any security measures? Did he have any kind of alarm system on his house? And he says, no. In fact, he left the door wide open. Police ask why. Why would he do that, knowing the neighborhood that he lives in? The question is, why would the police do this if the man is in no way responsible for what happened? The truth is, is that you live in a dangerous neighborhood. This dangerous neighborhood is called the world. We might think that the heart of man is generally good. But when sin is involved, the nicest person can become your worst enemy. I ask you, do you lock your doors at night? And if so, why? Why would you lock your doors if it's the responsibility of the other person not to steal? Why do people have weapons if it's the responsibility of the other person not to rob? Why do you take martial arts if it's the responsibility of the other person not to assault? You do have a responsibility. You have a responsibility to protect yourself from those who don't care. Let's face it. There are those who do not care about God, God's word, or God's people. And what are you gonna do when those wolves show up at your door? Chances are that you're gonna have yours locked. And if you don't, well, I guess it's a good time to call on the God that you didn't have any faith in. You see, God writes his word knowing that there are wolves who will show up at the door. And this is why he actually tells us to act and do certain things. Not just because he's trying to ruin your party, but because he knows that we are also responsible for our fellow man. He understands that there are wolves who want to come knocking at your door. So certain times he says, don't go here, don't do this. Don't talk like this. Don't act like this. Why? Maybe because a thief is not looking for permission. He's looking for easy access. And when a person is less guarded, less protected, they have no security on their doors. Between that house and the one that actually is protected, he's going to try and enter the one that has no lock on its door. He's going to try and attempt and attack the person who has no protection. What kind of protection are you living? Are you living the kind of life where God can easily cover you in the shadow of his ways? Or are you living the type of lifestyle that draws the thief to you? Remember, Satan doesn't have to ask permission to steal, kill, and destroy. He walks around like a lion seeking whom he can devour. He's just looking for a way in. Don't give him one today. Guard yourself. Guard your heart. Guard your mind. Stay in God's word. It's a good place to be. You guys be blessed today. I hope I've encouraged you. Peace to all.